Hello universe! Ay wait, time sa magpa-picture sa daw siya. Uy, kaya guwapa ba kayo siya today bisag negative 3 degrees Celsius. Tiis ganda gihapon kay she really wants to look like Daphne Bridgerton. Oh, pa! So guys, in this episode, we will take you on a virtual walking tour to the many locations of the most watched Netflix series, Bridgerton. Okay, let's go! So first location, remember katong haubugang duke? Dirito siya ga-emote. And tanan food and most of the mercado scenes nila diri sa to the pita so basta uh, imagine na lang ninyo ha so just to give you an idea guys this is the beautiful city of Bath it's the largest city in the county of Somerset it's in the southwest area in the UK so in all the cities here in the UK Bath is the only city that is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's now head on to another location. So it is one of the most notable locations no, in the entire story, I think. So in Bath, it is actually a deli shop, but in the movie or in the in the series, it is converted as the Modiste. So I know you're quite familiar with the with the Modiste, and the filming took place inside and outside of this Grade Two listed building, and it fe features traditionally double fronted bay windows, as you can see. So di ba no halos tanan chismis diri jud mahisgutan ani balaya kanin jud balaya tungod ni Madam Genevieve to the fall and mo na siya din ha ang covid garden Oh there is Madam de la Croix ay So this is the Bath Abbey and that on the right is the Bath Spa so, kini siya, wari siya labot sa Bridgerton location, but it's just nice to appreciate this beautiful and scenic spot here in Bath. And that's also the pumped room we have there on the right. This is the Royal Crescent. One of Bath's most iconic landmarks makes for an impressive backdrop for filming. So, you will not miss it when it appears in Bridgerton. This is used in the opening scene of Bridgerton. In the story, this is the Grosvenor House. And also, this is where um, that newspaper boy was handing out um, Lady Whistledown's tabloid to the people. So the exterior of this place is also used to be the home of the Featherington family. So in the story, as you know, Lady Featherington devotes her time to navigate her three daughters to the social season just to find them suitable husbands. So you would see this often in the uh, Bridgerton series. So mga guys, let me introduce to you ang mga fresh, younger, but less popular sisters of Daphne Bridgerton. We have Eloise, Francesca, and Hyacinth. So they're all single. If you guys um, want them as a date on Valentine's Day, um, drop a comment and then I'll let them know. Oh, di ba? Namalikiyag, amiga. 
Speaking of na malikya, remember Lady Danbury? Katong kusog kayo mo market sa atong most eligible bachelor nga si Duke of Hastings sa mga single ladies, Mauni ang balay. And in Bath, that's actually the Holborn Museum. So the exterior of the Holborn Museum, being the house of Lady Danbury, was used for filming the entrance of one of the ball scenes of Bridgerton. And on the impressive approach to the Holborn Museum, via the grandness of Great Pulteney Street, the building's elegant facade and gardens provide an inkling of its grandeur and history. The Grade 1 listed building was originally designed and constructed as a hotel, but is now home to a collection of fine and decorative art. So everywhere you look at this grand city can be a film set, even the quieter areas. Take for example the likes of Trim Street, which was used to recreate Regency London in the 19th century. So this area was set as the exterior to Gunter's tea shop in the series. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoy the virtual tour in Bath as Bridgerton set location and hopefully hoping Bath will be included in your travel list once we all are allowed to. So thank you so much guys. I'm Bingo. Till next time. Bye!